Hey everyone, Jagtagger93 here, and it is once again 3 a.m. and I can't sleep. And the cure for that, as we all know, is a scary video game. So right now we're going to be firing up Decay the Mare. Now, those of you who haven't seen my playthroughs of scary games at 3 a.m. before, uh, here's what happens. I'm playing it at 3 a.m. I'm alone in my apartment. All the lights are off. I'm wearing surround sound headphones. And yeah, I'm going to see if we get spooked a bit. I'm probably be playing for about 20 minutes or so. And, uh, see what happens here now this game is rated pretty highly on a uh, steam and it was on sale too so i decided to grab it and see what we're in for here daedalic entertainment okay shining gate software neat okay all right I don't know, like, when I see, like, the developer, Facebook, Twitter, achievements, first thing, as soon as I fire up the game, I'm thinking, eh, I don't know, would this actually be scary? Uh, kind of kills the immersion a little bit, but uh, hopefully we can get immersed. So, episode one. Reaching dreams. You should run out right now. Okay. I came here to change my life. Well, that's good. No more drugs. And I feel that. Not that I ever was on drugs, but I used to drink quite a bit, and I've given up alcohol a few years ago, actually, so I feel that. Twizzler? No. Worm? But during the first night, something happened. Dreams and hallucinations. It all feels so real at this place. Kind of reminds me of Nightmare Reaper, actually, so far. I think something is trying to harm me. Tori was here. Frickin' Tori. Uh, I don't know. I mean, this music... The visuals, kind of pretentious. End it all. <clears throat> and release the pain. I think this would probably be a lot more engaging, at least for me, if the music wasn't playing. If we just had silence, or just static, or some sort of ambient noise. What the hell was that? I saw a thing. Uh, let's do the tutorial. Click on the navigation icon at the bottom to turn around. This. <clears throat> Got a good boy picture right there. Alright. Click on the icon. This one here. Need to search more in the room. Got it. So apparently I'm in a rehab clinic for um, people with uh, substance abuse issues. But, uh, something is going on. <clears throat> Let's check back and see what we got going on here. We got a plate. Looks like it's my medicine. I probably should. What is a friend? Um. Ah. That breathing does sound really creepy. Reaching dreams. Bowling ball? Uh, hand? Bowling ball. There's that Twizzler again. All we need now is something to say seven days, right? Psh. 
Right. So that happened. I uh, apparently woke up in the middle of the night. Meds are gone. Hmm. Just checking around, see if I didn't miss anything. No, I guess not. What's this over here? Oh, okay, that's just the, um... I'll save it. Why not? Alright. Let's head on back. I don't want to look at the achievements. That'll be Spoilerville. Check in here again. Just making sure nothing crawled inside. Alright. Let's head on out. the hell? That's not what I expected to see. Um, I was expecting like a hallway or something, but okay. There's a TV over there. Is that my room? Am I locked out of my own room? No. Maybe that's my room. No. Okay, no, I didn't lock myself out. Good. I was... Yeah. Kind of worried about that. But, um... Okay, good. It would suck if we locked ourselves out. So I guess that's the common area. But I'm guessing... Like, this rehab clinic doesn't screw around. It's like, as soon as it lights out... Bars come down, I'm guessing. That's nuts. Alright. Mm, I don't want to go there. Why would I leave my room, though? Like, what's the point? I'm in a rehab clinic, and, um... Probably should be sleeping right now. Like, why am I... What's my motivation for doing this right now? Am I trying to find the bathroom? Question mark. Help. What am I doing? Oh, oh but I don't want to go in there. Like, it's authorized personnel only. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Jesus. The fuck? Check and make sure nothing's behind me. All right, that's the way we came, I'm guessing. Bits of wood, something's written on that plank, it looks like. I'm not really sure what. Do I need to enter? Question mark, help. Okay, wants me to enter. Yeah, I guess I, we're entering. All right, let's just look behind us. Alright, nothing creeping up on me. That's good. Huh. Time is an illusion. Well, I mean, it's relative. I mean, you know, we judge time according to the sun and whatnot, and that's relative to, you know, our solar system and whatever. Um, but, uh, yeah. This is a bit creepy, a bit unsettling. Yeah, I got that. Hi! The hell was that? Yeah. That was, um... There was a dude there. It's locked. There's blood on the lock. That's not a good sign. Especially, th especially these days now with the uh, coronavirus and whatnot, we gotta let's hold that down. Seriously. All right. Just check behind me. Okay. Thought I saw movement here too for a second. I could be, it could be just my eyes playing tricks on me. But um, I could have sworn I saw something over here. Okay. Well, um, apparently it's looking right back at us. 
And um, that's an eye, and that's an eye. And that kind of looks like a mouth to me, actually. Huh. Ooh. Alright. I have some kind of rave over there. Let's check this floor first. All right, the hint wants me to go back out, so I will. I'll just look around real quick. There's a switch in that other room, but I don't really have much of a reason to poke at it. But, uh, got another eye watching us. And I'm guessing the hint probably wants us to go here. Yep. What the hell is that? Click on the icon to open the inventory, okay? That. The youth is crying. Grubhub. Wait, no. The moon is burning. Oh, shit. The freaking moon. That's like that local... I think it's Local 58, that YouTube uh, channel. Don't look at the moon, look at the moon, yeah. The men are watching... Love is penetrated? Am I reading that correctly? This this right here. Love is penetrated. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that's what that says. Okay. Um I wonder if that's gonna be a hint for a puzzle or something. I hope so. So we can examine use combined, kinda like Resident Evil. Alright. Look around real quick. That's another door. Yeah, that's where we came from. Oh, okay, this is a new... Ooh! Oh, I saw a person. Definitely wants to go after that person. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see what they want. Wait. Wait, hold on. Yeah. List of names. My name is at the bottom. Alright, let's check out this note. What is my name, by the way? Sam Eldridge. Sam. Oh, okie dokie. Remembering that up. That uh that game we played a few months ago, Love Sam. <laughs> Back again with a character named Sam, interesting. Earl Nelson. Robert Harris. Josh Williams, Dave Hill, Earl yeah, okay. Yeah, worth a shot. It's pennies here. Actually, let's go back out of this room. I'm going to check these. Yeah, let's head back out. There's boxes in the corner I want to look at. Wait. Okay, I can't click on them. I'm getting really disorientated by, um... By uh, moving around. It's almost like Friday the 13th on the NES when you're in a cabin. It's very easy to get uh, a little misdirected. So let's check... Behind us first. It's a bear. Alright. Good to know. Oh, oh! Uh, okay. It's a little off putting. How are you guys doing? I don't need to use my notes. So I'm guessing the point of this is to get out. And for all we know, it could be all a nightmare right now because uh, we went to sleep. 
Oh no, you're just another brick in the wall, right? Let's move my cursor over these bricks, see if there's any ones we can take out. I think there would have to be. Or maybe we have to use a brick here. Yeah. All right. No. Hmm. All right, let's head back out. Okay, Hint wants us to go in this room. Um. Yeah, okay, that is really creepy. Check behind us real quick. Tori was here. Okay, well, that's good. This Tori guy is creeping me out. Good news, he, he was here. He is no longer here, though. He was, past tense, so I'm feeling pretty comfortable right now. This is probably a safe room. It looks safe. We got a picture of a cat and everything. All right. Yeah, why not? Can't pick his nose. Push the eyes in the right order. Hmm. Oh, okay, cool. I think I know what to do. We gotta go back to the blinking painting. And where was that? I think it was in here. Nope. Ah. Not there. Here. Right. Okay, let's check out the blinking painting and see what we got. Alright, so it's left, right, left, left, right. Yeah. Left, right, left, left, right. Got it. Let's try that again. Yep. It's a good thing we didn't get penalized for getting that wrong. Left, right, left, left, right. Ta da! Yeah. What did we get? Got some keys. Nice. Let's check that inventory real quick. The key. I wish I can look at the key on the other side and see if there's a tag. Oh, I can. Cool. Unfortunately, not seeing any writing on it. I was hoping it, there'd be a note or something attached to it saying what it is. Let's head back out. There was a locked door. There was a few locked doors. I'm not sure what that key would go to now. I can't put my finger on it, but seeing the movement from the fan here... But everything else completely still is kind of, kind of creepy. It, it shouldn't be creepy, creepy, creepy me out, but it just kind of does. All right, we want to go forward. And in that room, okay. Uh, why is the hint telling me to go in here? This looks like. Yeah, okay. Oh, cool. 
Two dogs on the door. Got it. So that's definitely what we need to use. Let's open the door and get on the floor. Everyone do the dinosaur. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Is that a picture of our character? I don't know. The blinking light, too, is kind of, um... I'm hoping that's not a pattern you have to memorize. Oh. That's creepy. That is real creepy. But that one's scratched out. That's weird. Jenny was tired of the city life. She decided to fulfill her dream. Live alone in a house in the woods, outside of town. After a few weeks, she truly understood how much she loved it. She had found a place where she would grow old. Or so she thought. Wow. One night, before going to sleep, Jenny noticed something strange outside the house. It was difficult to see because it was so dark. But when Is this... she turned on the lamps in the room, wow. okay. she could clearly see a man standing next to the shed in the uncut grass. Yeah. It was almost like he was observing her. Nine meters from the house. Mm-hmm. Even though he terrified her, she decided to confront him. But once she was outside, the man was gone. She naturally assumed that he'd ended up there by chance and disappeared immediately as soon as he saw that someone was in the house. A few days later, Jenny had already forgotten about the man. I feel like I'm being read to by Mr. Creepy Pasta. Or chills. You ever, you know, that chills, um, you know, number 15, you know, that guy. He's another YouTuber who does, like, creepy stuff. This time, she could clearly see him. He was pale and skinny. His eyes reminded her of a dog's. The empty eyes looked at her. But at the same time, She was about to open the window when he suddenly began walking out of her sight towards the entrance of the house. She oh, ran snap. quickly to the kitchen and picked up a knife. She stood there, frozen, waiting for the man. But he never came. A few minutes later, she went out to check if he was still there. He wasn't. Time went by, and once again, Jenny started to forget about the man. But on this night, it felt strange somehow. Almost as if she was being watched. Despite this incredibly unpleasant feeling, Jenny decided to try and get some much needed sleep. As she was turning off the lamps in the house, she noticed something in the corner of her eye. Something that's not usually there. It was the man. One meter from the window. Yikes. Jenny was so scared that she screamed out loud. Then she ran and hid in the bedroom. She heard his footsteps through the grass outside the house. It sounded like he was moving closer to the entrance. Jenny remembered the second time she had seen him, when he also walked towards the entrance, but then disappeared of his own free will. The thought calmed her until she heard the door slam open. As she screamed, she realized she had nothing she could defend herself with. She turned around and opened the window, jumped out and ran towards her car that was parked five meters from the house. She was trembling with fear when she started the car. As she drove away, she looked into the rear view mirror. The man was standing at the window, looking right at her. That's pretty creepy. 
Granted, this guy, all he was doing was just looking at her. I mean, yeah, that is creepy, but he didn't actually do anything. He just teleported around and was looking at her. But I'm guessing that's probably Jenny and uh, our dude. Really obsessed with her. Now, I wonder if Jenny is a, one of the patients on the, uh, on the uh, document. No, not... I didn't mean to use it. Okay, is there a Jenny? Not seeing one. Alright. Unless that's supposed to be, it looks like a Jason actually. That's a Joseph. Okay. That's a go. Alright, I wonder what a coin is for. Hmm. Alright, yep, head back out. I thought so. Should we go through that door now? Nope. That way. This is the creepy area. Eyes, yeah. And it wants to go through that door now. Search more in this room, okay. I don't know if I want to. a clue to this puzzle. Hmm. Something close to the fan, okay. But, we gotta figure out this puzzle. So, it's numbers. Nine. She decided to fulfill her dream. Live alone one. in a house. Oh wait, nine. Outside of town. Six one. After a few weeks. Nine six one five. Okay, where do I click now? Use handle, the Nice. Alright, I'm on a roll so far with figuring out these we're figuring out these uh puzzles. Alright, what's this then? Pick it up. And let's look at it. Blood stained envelope. Bloodstained key. Okay, cool. And that probably goes to the door that had blood on the uh, handle. Um, I should not be that excited about this. But uh, I am. We're going to go somewhere. I'm going to use the uh, helper th or hint thing if it comes up to help us guide us back. I'm not really sure if I remember how to get there. I think it was this way. That's that room. Oh, shoot! That actually got me. That got me. That was really clever. Alright, where was this door with the blood stains? Ok, 
Okay, I guess we were going the wrong way. Where was it though? Was that it? No. Okay, so it's back this way. Was that it? No. Okay, it was way back. Um, I think that was it. Yep, that's it. Cool. And that's where we want to go, right? Yep. Got it. All right. A brick or metal block. Okay, cool. And that probably goes with the brick wall that we saw earlier. Now, I'm trying to remember where that was. Make sure we're not missing anything in here. Find me. I don't know if I want to. Forward, left, left, forward. Alright. But we have to go back to the, um... The brick... Uh, room. I'm remember where that was. No, not here. Not here. Yeah, we want to leave, I figured. I wouldn't use the hint so much if we had a map. But we don't. I want to go back down there. Yep. Oh, shit. What the hell? Nene? What the hell's Nene? 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 Alright, is this the room? I'm trying to remember how to get back to the brick room. I think it was here, right? Now I need to search more in the room. Okay. You say so. A wooden handle. What am I going to use that for? Check it out. Oh, I see. I can make make this to a weapon. Yeah, I got a sledgehammer. Nice. Can't use it there, but I got my sledgehammer. Nice. What am I going to use it on? Going all Triple H on someone. Don't know if I want to use it on that guy. What the hell? a ring of some kind. Hmm.
I could use a sledgehammer on the butterfly, but that seems really wrong. And thankfully the game is not recommending me, recommending that I do that. That's good. Alright. So what am I using a sledgehammer on? Is it on the brick wall? Yeah, okay. That's that's what I wanted. Good. That's what I thought. So let's use it. And we gotta go in there, don't we? I'm close. Sam, waiting. Left, up, right, right, right. Okay. Another ring, huh? There's someone in here earlier. Oh, these are steps. I'd like to combine them, actually, if I can. No, I can't. Okay. What the hell? Sledgehammer, sledgehammer, sledgehammer. I don't want to. Yeah, whatever that is. Hmm. The fuck? The bag is talking to me. Um, Cool, I like you too, Mr. Bag. All right. Who are you? Oh, that's nice. I got I made a friend. Hey, no. Uh, we just shut the door and thing. Thing is awesome. No, I want want to hang out with my buddy. Ah. That was Thing from the Adams Family. Could have been a huge help. Oh, right, we can save our game and stuff, too. I'm actually going to save it there. We probably got about 20 minutes in, maybe a little more. I'm not sure I'm not keeping track, but it is getting a bit late. My eyes are getting a bit heavy, and we found Thing, which is awesome. So I'm going to cut it here. I want to wish everyone out there a uh, good night and uh, pleasant dreams. This is Jag Taggart 93 signing out. Have a good one.